Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd ahabatifillah One of our brothers and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him, forgive him, guide him Bless him with ikhlas with the bad ala sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and bless his family and provide for him and his family. Ameen ya rabbil alameen and make his affairs easy. Ameen ya rabbil alameen and I ask that you supplicate as well for the brother and that we all remember our brothers and sisters who are in their various uh, struggles that they face in this dunya. And may Allah cure us all and protect us all and preserve us all and our families. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. So the brother mentioned, <clears throat> after mentioning that some of the difficulties he has, he says, it's been four years since my arrest, meaning he committed a crime or some crimes in the past. Uh, uh, since then, I have, inshallah, become a better Muslim. I went to Hajj last year. I did 10 days in the Masjid Al-Aqsa this year. I learned about Tawheed in depth. I kept away from shirk and keep away from riba and interest by staying in rented accommodation. On this Jumwa, Friday, the tw uh, July 20th, I'm facing jail for the crime I committed. So he's facing jail for some time. I feel so lost and sad. Everyone I know has turned their backs on me. I only have Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, who I depend upon. Uh, but sometimes my deen gets weak as my wife, as I have a wife and three children, uh, and they will be left without any provisions. Uh, and... That is the crux of what the brother is uh, speaking about and asking just for some general advice. So first and foremost, I'd like to ask all those who are listening to supplicate for all of our brothers and sisters in their various struggles. And when you know of someone in a struggle, to be of assistance to them if you can financially, uh, any kind of support with advice, whatever kind of ways that you are able to do so. And for the brother, I'd like to offer this humble piece of advice is first and foremost uh, going back to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem Ya ayu al-ladheena amanu wa sta'inu bi sabri wa salah inna allaha ma sabirin O you who believe so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing you He's addressing you and I because we believe in Islam we believe in the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing us and he says uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala Ya ayu ladheena amanu wa sta'inu bi sabri wa salah O you who believe seek assistance with patience or through patience in prayer so seeking assistance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost and during the trial that awaits you or the uh, the time period that you will be incarcerated you must be patient that's survival you have to be patient. So keeping on istiqama, keeping on this positive that you're doing. Yes, your iman's gonna go up and down, but be patient. Always remember that. Ya yuladina amanu astainu bi sabari wa salat, and make kathrata prayer. Make a lots and lots of prayer and dhikr. Remember Allah subhanahu wa taala as much as you can. This is an opportunity for you to be away from the dunya, and you're gonna be in a a, a, a isolated environment or restricted environment, but it's a time for you to reflect on yourself because at least you have light at the end of the tunnel that be in Allah you'll be released. I know some brothers, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them, preserve them, and release them and make their affairs easy who will never see their children on the outside and never see their, never see us again. Never, we won't see them unless we go visit them because they are locked down for life. So this always look to those beneath you. So this is another point I want to mention to our beloved brother is look to those who have a more difficult struggle, who are facing life. Facing life. They don't have an opportunity. They, it's over. It's over. They're going to be more than likely die behind those bars. Wallah understand. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our affairs easy. Ameen. And protect us. Ameen. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya yuladina amanu wa sta'inu bi sabri Ya yuladina amanu wa sta'inu bi sabri wa salah inna Allah ma sabrin. So then what is the natija? Part of that natija and that result is that if you are patient and you seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by a lots of prayer and lots of uh, uh, and just being patient in general and not being quick to do anything and being patient al, al, uh, in this test and patient ala ta'atillah and patience uh, in obedience to Allah, wa 
Sabr ala ma'asiyatillah. And also patience with sinfulness, meaning that you do your best to stay away from sin. So if you do that, in the law of sabrin, Allah, verily Allah is with those who are patient. That's the first thing you need to know. And that is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kitab al kareem وَلَقَدْ كُذِّبَتْ رُسُلٌ رُسُلٌ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ فَصَابِرُوا عَلَى مَا كُذِّبُوا وَأُوذُوا حَتَّى أَتَاهُمْ نَصْرُنَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِهِ الْكِرِيمِ وَلَقَدْ كُذِّبَتْ And they were, the messengers before, they were, uh, people uh, didn't believe in them. And called them liars. Fasabiru. Uh, and they were patient. They were patient upon that. These are the prophets, alayhim afdal salatu wa salam. All of them. They went through these trials and tribulations. Being beaten. Some were killed. All kind of uh, tests. But they were the best of mankind. And they were the patient. They exhibited. So it's a beautiful trait to have is patience. And you're being tested. And it's time for you to be patient. Alama, uh, so they were patient on, on what those and those things that uh, were said about them, the denial of their messengership and, and prophethood, and the harm that befell them. They were patient. And in a very important hadith, which also affirms this meaning, and there's so many ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Asr wal Asr. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم and he swears by the time by the time verily mankind is in a loss if we stop there خلاص mankind is in a loss والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا except those who have iman and again as we mentioned in the beginning you're from أهل إيمان so keep on أهل إيمان Keep your Islam. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا صَالِحَةً And do righteous deeds. Do righteous deeds before this time comes and during your incarceration. Try to show people a good image of Islam. Even your enemies that may await you in there. بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى Show them the best of character. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَسُوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَسُوا بِالصَّوْرِ And be patient and encourage one another to patience. And... Uh, to the truth. So make da'wah to the extent of your ability. So that is very important and a, por a, a, por uh, a part of this process that you need to uh, be focused on. And in the hadith of Ibn Abbas, radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma, anhu qal, kuntu radif al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam faqala, ya gulam, o ya gulayim, ala u'allamuka kalimatin ينفعك ينفعك الله بهن فقلت بلى فقال احفظ الله يحفظك احفظ الله توجده امامك تعرف اليه في رخ في رخائي ويعرفك في شده واذا سالت فاسال الله واذا استعنت فاستعن بالله قد قد جف القلم بما هو كائن إلى آخر حديث. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in the hadith of Ibn Abbas رضي الله تعالى رضي الله تعالى عنهما, which is good advice for me and you. He said, I was with the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم. I was behind the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم, or else the Messenger was صلى الله عليه وسلم behind me. And he said, and and I believe this was on a donkey. It doesn't mention, but Similar to Muawiyah, رضي الله تعالى عنه, the had the hadith of Muawiyah bin Jabal, رضي الله تعالى عنه, and he said, "O youth, you know, O young boy, or O youth, should I tell you something? Should I tell you a a a sentence or a word that will ben that Allah will benefit you with?" And he says, "Yes." He said. Safeguard the commands of Allah, and He will protect you. Protect those, safeguard those commands, 
and he will be in front of you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you guidance. He'll give you guidance during this trial and throughout. Know Allah, meaning remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you have ease, and he will remember you in difficulty. So you've been trying to do that. Keep doing it all the way, and keep doing it in this trial. And if you ask, then ask from Allah. And if you rely, then rely, if you seek support or help and assistance, seek it from Allah. And that gives us some insight about what you need to be focusing on is keeping a hold of the book of Allah and the son of the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Know that Allah is going to take care of your family, one way or another. Supplicate often and have your family rely first upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then seek support from wherever they need to seek support to assist them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase the risk from places they can never imagine. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala release you from this trial and let it to be a warning and a reminder and allow bless you to be free after one day or not even serving one day. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Let's talk about some practical things that you need to do. Bi'idnillah ta'ala. First, I would say Focusing on three, physical, mental, spiritual. Physical meaning take care of yourself in there. Push-ups. If you have weights, get in there. If there's a boxing gym, box. Get up in there and handle your business to make sure that you physically can handle yourself and you're not uh, harmed. And so I, my advice would be no one will probably stop you from push-ups if there's no equipment. Get yourself on a program of 500 push-ups a day. And you will get swole and people will respect you. Bidnillah ta'ala. Secondly, uh, be also part of that physical is being with the Muslims. Be with the believers. So travel in the company of the believers in there. Make sure that's instantly where you need to be is getting in there when you have time to pray and when you can and be in the company of the believers so that they know who you are and they respect you and the people will respect and say, oh, he's a Muslim, I respect him. Or whatever the case may be, but you're with the believers. So that's the physical part. And also that has a spiritual thing, because in the Mu'minun Ikhwa, the, 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 the believers are brothers to one another. So be with your brothers. So that's a part of the spiritual thing too. How can you spiritually benefit from this experience? Make a toba first and foremost, for what you did in the past. Second, and they, so that means acknowledging, because I know some brothers, they've done crimes in the past, but they never seem to, to even think they were in the wrong even though they did something that was not lawful, Islamically. And they just seem to blame the, the police or what have you. Instead of making toba, you never see that they have remorse for what they did. They were remorse for being caught. So my advice is to make toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek his support, assistance, and favor. Number two, along with that, and this is in the spiritual, is that you memorize what you can of the book of Allah. And memorize what you can... Because now you'll have time of the son of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and supplicate often to Allah that Allah takes care of your family and takes care of you and protects you on me. So use this time for memorizing and study as much as you can. The third thing, we said physical, uh, uh, spiritual, and that really comes with the mental, reading, educating yourself. Of course, the Islamic, but also even other things that are going to help you be healthy and live healthy living as best as you can under those circumstances. Things that will keep you positive, be in positive environment. So make lots of dhikr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah makes it easy for you and will remember you in our supplications. And that is the best that I can do at this stage. As far as offering advice, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless it to be of benefit to you. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.